Hey everybody, Bohush here speaking to you for PhotodeoxPro.com. And in this video, we're going to use our new Smart ND throttle and we're going to attach this Canon EF full frame lens to this Sony EF mount camera. And I want to show you how easy it is. It's like using any other lens adapter. First thing we do, take off the uh, lens cap there, take off the rear cap of our Canon lens, line up the red dot, bang, that's it. And now let's remove the original Sony lens, like so. Let's get that out of our way. And we'll take the rear cap off of the new Smart ND throttle, line these guys up, bang, you're done. Now, one thing you might notice is that the new ND throttle has a tripod foot on it. And not only do you have a quarter 20 thread here, but it's also Arca Swiss compatible. So you can actually clip that right into a tripod if you want. And it's a good idea to use this guy whenever you've got a heavy lens like this. You wouldn't want the weight of this lens, uh, you know, pulling on this little tripod screw here. But also, you'll notice we've got, this is the control ring for the ND throttle itself. That's the variable ND that we're controlling. And notice I can either use my hands, uh, my fingers, I could do it digitally, I guess you could say. But you'll notice that it's geared. And this is to use with a follow focus system if you want. So if you've got a follow focus rail thing, you just uh, mount this on there, you mount your follow focus on there, and you can get really fine control that way. Use a focus whip, whatever. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. Okay, so now you're ready to rock and roll. We've got the Canon full frame lens on the Sony APS-C camera, which is the combo that you need to work with the Smart ND throttle. You gotta have a full frame lens, you gotta have an APS-C sensor camera. Now, you can use a Sony A7 camera. You just have to run it in uh, sensor crop mode so you won't run into any vignetting. So you heard me call this thing a smart adapter. And the reason I'm doing that is because it lets the camera actually speak to the lens. The Sony camera can talk to the Canon lens. That means you've got uh, autofocus, you've got aperture control, you've got image stabilization. All those things that make these lenses awesome, you can now access from the Sony camera. The adapter has electronics inside to let these things communicate with each other. So you get a very versatile, cool setup for photographers and filmmakers alike. So let's take a look and see what it looks like when we mount this uh, with a follow focus system. So I'm going to show you a really compact follow focus and rail system that I like. It's uh, from the guys over at hondagarage.com. As you can see, this is really, really tiny. And so I'm going to mount that back here. Like so. And we do clear the, uh, the tripod foot. And now I can slide, this is the $50 follow focus as they call it. This is a Kickstarter project and a, a great one at that I must say. And then I'm just meshing the teeth. Tighten that guy up. And you get an amazingly compact little rod system plus use the follow focus to control the variable ND. And you get a nice long throw, so you can get a nice gradual look. Again, if you're doing run and gun, it's awesome to be able to have like cloud control botching your shot and you can just smoothly dial in more or less variable ND to get the image to be just like you want it. Uh, but as you can see, we can pop on practically any follow focus and rail system. This is just one that I like to keep my run and gun system very, very small. So that is the new Smart ND Throttle in a nutshell. Click the link down below this video to make one your very own today. My name is Bahush. Oh, sorry, wait. Click right here to subscribe and you'll get more assembly and how-to videos just like this one. My name is Bahush. Thanks for watching.